Hello, this is Yaw Weasel and Yaw Cloud. Let's play Yaw Quest Five. Wait, what? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, right. <laughs> I, I I thought that I was saying Quest for Glory Five in my head for a second, and then I that's not what I was saying. In the last episode, we, uh, you know, took this marionette from a small child who would have been much happier not giving it away. Uh, because we're jerks, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We also got a harp. Yep. It's beautiful, made of beautifully carved mahogany, which is mm -hmm. an irrelevant piece of information. <laughs> and a pair of shoes. The finest pair of shoes Graham has ever seen, although a bit small for his gigantic monster feet. And I still have this beeswax. Graham wears a size 17 shoe. It's not easy to find. It's not that those are elf shoes or anything, or children's shoes. It's just that he has really huge feet. <laughs> the, the owl blends perfectly into the roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Try harder with the colors, guys. I swear the original Nintendo is capable of more colors than this. It's you again, is it? We don't have no shoes, you jerk. Get out of here. No, but you're about to. Thanks for reminding us of how much better other cobblers are than us. <laughs> you just cut out, by the way. These are the me. finest. God, they're all wall eyes. I can't hear you if you're talking. <laughs> These are the finest pair of shoes I've Hooray! ever seen. The leather is soft and pliable, yet sturdy. Well, I couldn't, I couldn't hear you for most of that, so, but I can hear you now, so. Uh, whoops, internet issues. Yep. The craftsmanship of the shoes is superb, and mama, look at this solid gold buckle. Why, I could retire with the sale of these shoes. Really? One pair of shoes? They have solid gold buckles. Then the shoes are yours. I could use that solid gold, but no, you can have them. <laughs> I don't think I could find any use for them. Except the solid gold buckles, which I could melt down, but, you know. You don't need to repay me. Just knowing I helped you is enough for me. No, it's not. I need something. Well, it ain't much, but it's all I've got to give. Here, take my cobbler's hammer. I literally can't continue to do my job without it. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Since I'll be retiring, I won't need it anymore, thanks to you. Why, thank you. A hammer could come in mighty useful on my journey. <laughs> That's right, son. We'll finally be able to retire in comfort. You'll be in our hearts from now. <gasps> Dead. Yep. Well. And his, his poor invalid wife just starts screaming, <laughs> A cobbler would normally use this to make shoes or some such nonsense. Oh, I can't nope, hammer the wagon apart. Cobble a wagon apart. I'm pretty sure that woman is taller than you. So, that that goes with my theory of you're actually just quite short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now you have a hammer and a spinning wheel. Come on in, stay a while and listen. <laughs> I we don't already even made remember that what that's from. It's Decker Kane. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. That, is that the first Diablo? It must it's, be, or else I it's mean... two. The first, all three of them, I think. Actually. Oh really? no, the first okay. two at least. Where did you get this wonderful marionette? The craftsmanship is excellent. Well, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but I got it from a little gnome. He wasn't little. He was yeah, a very a almost. huge gnome. <laughs> I must have it. Can I buy it from you for sexual favors? Actually, you may have it. I'm not interested in your sexual favors. <laughs> if you'll give me the sled and trade. Well, that's not... You see, that's that I still selling. It. That's exactly. bordering, yeah. <laughs> Why, of course, but I must tell you, I think I'm getting the better deal since that sled is made of balsa wood and will fall apart the moment it touches snow. <laughs> nice. I can always make another sled, but finding another marionette of this quality, I don't know. So I can have the sled? <laughs> yes, yes, take that sled made of packed snow. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think I'll find this sled very useful. Well, you enjoy it, and thank you for the marionette. 
Good to know how much better people who aren't me are at making toys. <laughs> well, now I have two things that would be useful in the snow. Yep. So I have a feeling I'm going up into the mountains. Yep. It did say that this town was nestled yes. at the base yes, of a did. mountain, so... Grandpapa! Yes, you little... I, I, I can't. <laughs> yeah, there we yeah go. I know. Okay, I've got everything I need from this town except whatever's behind this wagon. <laughs> except the mystery of the wagon. Um, I guess I can try to use the harp on the snake now. Watch out, a poisonous snake. Uh, I think the snake is a dog. <laughs> I don't think that, actually. Just as a, as an aside there. Nope. Well, you tried. Can I hammer Looks it like to you're going to need a mongoose. <laughs> A cobbler would use this small hammer to make shoes. You're going to use it to beat a snake to death. You're crazy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do well, snakes like lumps of beeswax? I don't know. Maybe they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I'm missing is that part of town and the inn, I think. Yep. That what would appear I... to be all there is to solve here. And the snake, obviously. Well, and the snake, yes. <laughs> Which is where you just were, so... Always good to save before going into the s and M in. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's s and M I in. <laughs> I'm gonna open an inn named s and I. <laughs> Probably I won't, actually, but, you know. <laughs> You're gonna soothe them? No. <laughs> You could try beating them over the head with a cobbler's hammer. <laughs> the inn's full. Rub him out. Well, we've been here before. Struggle as he might, he just can't escape the bonds. But luckily, the most gigantic rat in the world is your friend. And also wall-eyed rat, just like everything else in this oh, world is wall-eyed. Yeah. <laughs> best controls! <laughs> they are the best controls. And you got the rope! Oh look, it does have two rows. I was kind of wondering if it would actually work. A couple of rows use the small hammer to make shoes. These are the only two things I could think that I could possibly use on the door here. They don't that, make any sense, but... That and what? Was the other thing the, the, the beeswax? <laughs> yeah, but I don't know how that would help. Using the cobbler's hammer, Graham pounds on the padlock until it breaks or something. Yep, until it breaks apart. Okay, well now I have lots of things to loot. So, yep. let me save it first. That sounds like a good idea. Rat just helped me. <laughs> Boy, you've got the, uh, you you've like got the, logic? the logic on this file naming on lockdown here. Nobody could ever fault you. Graham looks around the inn's kitchen and finds it rather sparse and untidy. What with the bones and <laughs> dead corpses everywhere. At the back of the room, Graham spies a large kitchen cupboard. Graham looks around the inn. Graham looks around the inn. Oops. Graham looks around the inn. Graham looks around the inn. Graham looks around the inn. <laughs> Graham looks around the inn. Graham looks around the inn. Graham looks around the inn. What? Did he use the hammer on that? What? I don't think so. Inside the cupboard, Graham sees a large, juicy leg of lamb. Thank you for the leg. I got the leg of lamb, right? <laughs> nope. You no. just saw it. <laughs> okay. Well. Mind you, a cupboard is a terrible place to keep a leg oh, of yeah, lamb. Absolutely. So. Reaching into the open cupboard, Graham pulls out the savory leg of incredibly rotten lamb that's been there for months. <laughs> Gotta try everything, right? Yep, yep, you've learned your lesson from the witch's house. <laughs> Must click everywhere. I don't think I'm gonna find anything Nothing else. Nothing is here. identifiable because of the NES graphics. It's just like, why are all the spoons blue? 
<laughs> what, what is that supposed to be? Sitting on top of something else that's unidentifiable? Okay, well, I think I got everything in here. I tried everything. You have clicked everywhere you can click. Okay, well, I'm going right, not left, because left is death, I think. Or well, maybe right is death. One way is death. death. <laughs> Pretty hard to guess from this, really. That's true. For some reason, I was assuming that the actual end, to the, the place that they were, was to the left. Nope, I was assuming wrong. <laughs> hey, how'd you get out of the cellar? I'm just gonna walk right this up. This time, run them out for good. Really? I'm <laughs> gonna walk right up there? Well, yeah, let me conveniently put myself in a position that you can most easily kill me. Here you are. Here's my head. Hit it with a, uh, 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 whatever that thing is. I mean, I know where the lamb is going. This is a large, mouth-watering leg of lamb. It's going in your belly. No, it's going into a snake's belly, actually. Graham unlocks the kitchen, and blah. Graham hears the turn of the latch as he leaves the inn's kitchen. Someone has locked the door again. <laughs> it appears that the door has been relocked. Okay, fine by me. I got what I needed. I yep. needed a leg of lamb from the inn. And they wouldn't, <laughs> they're such jerks, they wouldn't yeah, you give couldn't it to just, me. So. You couldn't just buy one. <laughs> Mind you, you had no money, so this was just a long-winded way to steal a leg of lamb from the inn. <laughs> And see, I don't look bad for stealing it because they were, you know, yeah, because they were trying gonna to kill, kill you. Me. So there you go. Watch out! A poi is in a snake. Hmm. So I got the snake and the wagon. Am I missing something? What do you mean you got the wagon? You didn't those get are the two. The, oh, the, those, those are the two okay. Things you that I got have. in the sense of right. In the sense of those are the two things you have, still have to deal with. Can I combine things in the inventory? I don't think I can. No, this game is not that sophisticated. Hmm. Still have a hammer, but I can't do anything with that. <laughs> That's the first item that you've had to use that hasn't just destroyed itself when you use yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, using a rope on a snake doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. You mean using a dead snake on a living snake? <laughs> hmm. Use the rope on yourself. Maybe if I tie myself up, then the snake won't eat me. Wait, what? <laughs> I love how this snake hasn't moved for what is presumably days. <laughs> Maybe it's a dead snake and you're just more worried than you should be. <laughs> Are you gonna bust down his door? Crispin, let me back in! Smash! <laughs> This guy's gone. That's probably for the best. What with his, wow. you know, fiance being back. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna bust into the gnome's house. <laughs> now that you know that the hammer can be used to break locks, you're just well, trying to exactly, break into that, everywhere. That was my logic. The shuttered window is closed tight. Why does the window have like a ramp up to it? <laughs> that's, what I, that's why I was checking it. Because it looked suspicious. I mean, could I use the rope to climb somewhere? Oh. Really? Do I need to go all the way back into the desert again? You told me you didn't want any clues, so now well, I can't tell clues. you when you're wrong and stupid or when you're right and not stupid. Well, I'm going to go try to climb that cliff back there because it said it was kind of sort of climbable, but I, it wasn't climbable. I think it said you tried to climb it but failed or something. Boy, they sure pieced out. A tambourine lies on the ground near the abandoned gypsy encampment. Well, now I have more than one instrument. <laughs> you can make a whole band! A one-man band! Ding! Well, now you got two instruments, some rope, some desert... <laughs> 
There's nothing but a hot, dry desert and all the stuff you already found out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I suspect there's nothing over here, but I have to try. I have the rope. And my other two options are the snake and the, the that I can think of, are the snake and the wagon. And unless the snake can be charmed by a tambourine, which it might be able to, for all I know. Um, I mean, that you know, that's what you traditionally hear of snake charmers using, right? Oh, I always thought it was a flute. <laughs> It's being sarcastic. It is a flute. Okay. Of course, it's not a tambourine. Well, <laughs> it could be. I'll get... eh, sorry, you lose. Episode over. <laughs> Next time is what you say. Next time. Next time. There you go. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to leave a like below. Cheers from Y'all Weasel. And have a great day.